Phishing. Noun. The fraudulent practice of sending emails or other messages purporting to be from reputable companies in order to induce individuals to reveal personal information, such as passwords and credit card numbers. So what is phishing again and or exactly? A way cyber criminals trick you into giving them personal information. They send you fraudulent emails or text messages often pretending to be from large organizations you know or trust. They may try to steal your online banking details, logins, credit card details or passwords. Ransomware and phishing are inevitably identified as leading security concerns and not just in relation to cyber security. Potential victims of this deceitful act by what are scum of earth purporting swine may in fact give away enough private information that may allow and lead towards not only cyber theft, but physical theft of property as well. Phishing is also a form of social engineering where attackers deceive people into revealing sensitive information or installing malware such as ransomware. To elaborate on the previous word purporting well. Purport. Appear to be or do something especially falsely. She is not the person she purports to be. Leading as to a scam currently present and extremely frequent occurring in Australia currently involving purporting of phishing the victim to ultimately be able to infiltrate a person's residence, physically, for not just that of distant cybercrime, but physical theft at the very least from potential victims in the mildest case scenarios. Here people is just that occurring and e an example of why the no trust approach should always be taken in relation to a cold caller onto your end. But first, a word from our sponsors. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to take your gaming rig to the next level? This 1200 Australian dollar motherboard is designed for those who want only the best for their computer and want to unleash the full potential of their 13th gen Intel Core processors. And for the daring few, it even supports the budget Pentium Gold and Celeron processors. Because why not spend 1200 on a budget CPU, right? That will make your wallet scream with joy or pain depending on how you look at it. The bad boy, the Asus ROG Maximus Z790 Hero motherboard, a powerhouse of a motherboard, so you better believe that the specs and features match the cost. This motherboard will be the home of your gaming dream machine. And don't even get us started on the M2 support. No, I actually mean don't get us started. But wait, there's more. This motherboard also comes with an onboard Intel Wi-Fi 6E and a measly 2.5 gigabit Ethernet. Yep, you heard it right. Only 2.5 gigabits for 1200. You think they'd spring for 10 gigabit like some of the 600 boards out there? But hey, it's still an improvement from dial-up. While trending social topics can't be ignored, such as hashtag artificial intelligence, some, probably from Google, will suggest a level of sentience as with AI overclocking, AI cooling, AI networking, and two-way AI noise cancellation, this motherboard will not only simplify your setup, but also improve your performance. So there you have it. The Asus ROG Maximum Z790 Hero Motherboard. The ultimate choice for those who have money to burn and are thirst for high-end gaming performance. Whether it's worth it or not, well that's up to you. And for those of you who are on a budget, well there's always the next sale. Peace. Best by installing brand new Trump This is completely free program. So do you have any exhaust fan at your home? I'm sorry, where are you calling from again? Okay, I'm actually calling you from a government-initiated program. Okay. Sorry, what was your name again? Leon? Uh, um, yep, my name is Leon. Leon. Um, okay, yep. next time just leave a message if you like, if I miss the phone call. Um, yeah, but I'm glad I called you back. So this is in relation to a government project in relation to lights, correct? 
Uh, it's not for the right, it's for the exhaust fan, like on your kitchen, on your washroom, bathroom, the ventilation fan. We are upgraded it for free. Oh, the ventilation fan in the washroom. Um, okay, yep, but yep. The, the ventilation fan in the washroom has got lights as well attached to it. Uh, all of them? No, well, there are lights and there's a fan next to the lights, so I thought they'd be attached together because on, the, uh, on the switch, you got the lights for the switch and the lights for the fan. Okay. So the exhaust fan that you have, uh, does it have heating lamp or light attached to it or they are separate? I'm not sure. It's very old though. Okay. So let me ask you some questions. So the exhaust fan, how many exhaust fans do you have? I think there's one exhaust fan in the washroom. Okay. Uh, uh, do you have anything on your kitchen or laundry? There is an exhaust, f there is an exhaust in the chimney but the chimney doesn't have okay. a fan, I believe. It's a brick chimney, so okay. during winter, we burn any wood okay. we can find. There's a gum tree outside okay, on the that. street. There's a gum tree on the street okay. that fell down recently, so if we dry that wood out correctly, we might be warm this winter. Okay, I understand. So you have one exhaust fan, right? In the washroom, that's correct. Okay. So you don't have anything on your bathroom or anything? Just the washroom one? The washroom is the bathroom. Okay, so yeah, that's okay. I completely understand. And uh, can you please tell me how many years ago did you install them or how old are the exhaust fan? Oh, uh, I'm I wouldn't know. I haven't been in this residence that long. Um probably because it's okay. so cold during winter. Okay. So is is it more than seven years old? Can you guess? I, I, I think it would be more than seven years old, if I guessed. Okay, okay, I'll take that then. Uh, I'll take seven years. And uh, can you please tell me the exhaust fan that you're using? Is it ground shaped? Is it ground shaped? Oh, uh, I, I don't know. Yep. What's what's a ground shaped exhaust fan? Yep, yeah. Is it a round shape exhaust fan? Is it like a circle? Um... I I don't know. I'd have to go check. I haven't looked at the ceiling in recent. Okay. So okay. So you said. Uh, let you me go check for of, you, uh, Leon. Let me go check for you. I'll go find out if the exhaust fan is round. Okay. Just take, take me up. That would be great. All right. Uh, I will be back in a moment. Okay. Okay. Sorry. So this is a natural. Uh, call that is in relation to potentially fishing finding out whether i am the homeowner in relation to the number that's attached they're going to try to get more information out of me um and they can easily do this uh it may not be the initiating call that will try to siphon stuff from me but this is not a government initiative it may or may not exist but at the same time this is a hoax call anyway let's take him on hold and tell him what the exhaust fan shape is even though that is just the parameters of the framework itself hello leon leon are you yeah, there I'm here. I'm here. the exhaust fan it's round but it's plastic okay okay it's round and plastic and does it have any kind of light or heating lamp attached to it or normal fan only fan uh I think it's just a fan, um, but the lights are attached to the controller on the side wall of the entrance of the washroom. Okay, I think it's, uh, I think it's good. Okay, no worries. And you said it, it has a plastic cover, right? Cover, right? A plastic cover. Hang on. I just, I just, oh, oh. Um, how much does this cost? Because I don't, I don't get much money. Oh, it's completely free. You don't have to do anything. It's free. Okay. And when are you available? Maybe it's easier if you guys send a technician out because um, I'm disabled. So getting back and forth takes a bit of time in this property. Um, maybe you can send okay, a technician I out and they can take a look at the exhaust fan and and the exhaust in the chimney because the, if the chimney's not on and we're not burning the wood then 
it gets cold because it comes back in through the chimney, the, the cold winter. Okay. Okay, no, we will we send you a best electrician at your home and he will do all the work for free. Is that okay for you? That sounds unbelievable. How can you guys do that for okay. free? I'm curious. Okay. Is this a charity? Okay, so what is happening is it, uh, it's, a, it's a program from a government initiative. So the government clearly updating your old exhaust fan. That is what we are doing, okay? Okay. Okay, so you said your exhaust fan is round and it don't have any light in the switch, just a normal fan, right? I think so, yes. Okay, so I think you are perfectly eligible for the upgrade. So can you please tell me your postcode is 3168, right? <clears throat> My postcode? Um, yes, I believe yes, it's 3168, that's correct. Okay, so I think you're perfectly eligible for the upgrade. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to transfer this call. Do you have my address, Leon? Leon, yeah, do you have my uh, address? I think I, I, think I have. So What's what my I address, do, Leon? I, we'll make sure you got the correct uh, details. Okay, it's one uh, B, sugar, this red light, this something. No, that doesn't sound correct. Okay, can you just tell me your address then? It's, sorry, you broke up then. Maybe I didn't hear you correctly. What did address did you specify? Okay. Okay, I, I think our compromise manager will uh, update your uh, address. Yeah, I'm going to transfer this call to my senior manager so that he can find everything for you, okay? Just hold on a moment, okay? Okay. Okay. Your call is very important to us. Please stay on the line and you'll be transferred to the next available agent. Thanks for staying on the line. This is Max, I'm the senior verification manager from Victory Energy and Great. How are we doing? Great. We're doing great. Leon was very, very helpful. Leon's a good employee. You should note that down for him. Okay. So you already had a conversation with one of my representatives regarding the suspension installation at your place, right? I, I believe the address was being verified, but he broke up in relation to it. I just need a verification on the address. And we can go from there. I believe there was something wrong in it. I just wanted to correct it if necessary. Uh, which address you're talking about? My address. Leon said he could send a technician over and it would be for free, like charity work. Okay, so my electrician went there before and he visited your place. Or you had an appointment, my electrician didn't show up. Well, what's the address do you have? Because I believe it may be incorrect. 69 Mulholland Drive. That's not correct, no. It's 869 Mulholland Drive. 69 Mulholland Drive. Yes. Just, just 18, number 18, right? The number 18. 69 Mulholland Drive. Okay, just hold on, let me check. The postcode, postcode is 3168. That's correct. Sorry, your name was Max, number, was it? Yes. Yeah, so is there any unit number or is it just a single house? There is a unit. I, I believe we're the first one in the block. What is the unit number? One. Okay. So unit 69 Mulholland Drive. Correct. That's correct. Okay, that's and when can we have uh, someone have a look at the fan in the washroom? And uh, how many people spending total at your entire place? 
Oh, I'm not a hundred percent sure. Um, I was talking to Leon about the chimney and the chimney because the chimney's open at that it hasn't got a fan so during winter it gets really cold if we aren't burning any wood in the chimney okay so is there any exhaust fan in your bathroom toilet laundry or kitchen i uh, yes how many exhaust fan you got i'm sorry i will i don't look at the ceiling always um I'm I'm disabled. Let me let me go have a look. Give me some time, Max. Yeah. But we do it's have one sure in the washroom. Take your time. Okay. Let me. I'll be back in a second because my leg's not the best. I'll have a look for you, Max. No problem. Go ahead, please. I'm holding the line. Okay. So as you can see, they've uh, gone out of their way. They've got information in relation to a number that's essentially a silent number, how they got onto this number is another story. It's something to look at regarding uh, cybersecurity to always be vigilant because this information, the next call could be from a banking organization and they've already got and or will establish all information required from you to then fabricate the fact that they are calling you on the banking end of things. Um, I'm going to end this call now because it will just drag on in relation to a phishing exercise, essentially. If they were to send someone out, it'd be very brazen of them. Obviously, the address is incorrect. But if they were to send someone out, it'd be very brazen of them. I'd like to uh, send them to a house, frankly, that I could glitter bomb or something along those lines and, you know, scope out because whoever comes should be locked up, frankly. Let's resume the call and end it here. Max? Hello, Max? Yes, Max? Yes, yes. Um, I appreciate your call, but um, I need to, I've got my medication coming currently. Um, I just need to get that delivery and I'll talk to you later on. Um, should I call you back on this number or can you give me a call back then? When I call you, I want to get back to you, when I call you back. Okay. I'll get a call back from you then. Thank you. So yeah, guys, uh, Cybersecurity 101, believe nobody unless you know the number, full stop, even if they seem like they know everything about you and it seems legit, don't believe it. Don't believe it, full stop, guys. Anyway, my name's Seb Luca. Thanks for joining us at the Technus Corner and this audio example of BS. Peace out. Bye.